out in the wild. <laughs> Fuck. So did you hear about the UFC? They uh, just made Alistair Overeem versus Brock Lesnar December 30th at the MGM in Vegas. And Holy not shit. Show up. A five-round fight. He's Brock's not going to show up? Show. What, are what are you, you talking crazy? about? Yeah. You better not be talking shit. Why he ain't showing up, guys. <laughs> Why do you say he's not showing up? Diverculosis is making a comeback. In Diverticulitis. Yeah. He had surgery. Apparently, that. they think that he's cured 100%. They fixed it because the the area that he kept having a reoccurring diverticulitis area, they they just cut that area out and you know they think he's one hundred percent. But they left the central nervous system in, and it's still fucking reflecting the shots Kane gave him to the fucking head. It still spreads those testicles out all you over think his so? body, and that gives him the diverticulitis all over again. Trust me, <laughs> diverticulitis. Whatever the fuck it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, the listen, name. man, it's make something. Guy's got up. balls. If he this he Big balls. think about what he's done just to go from pro wrestling with no. No striking experience whatsoever. Enter into mixed martial arts right into the thick of the game. First fucking fight in the UFC. He takes on Frank Mir, who's a former UFC heavyweight champion, gets knee barred. You know, second fight, I believe he took on Randy Couture, right? Who is it? No, Heath Herring. Then he mm-hmm. took on Randy Couture. I mean, dude, but Brock Lesnar's a, a bad motherfucker. How can, how he might not mean? be able to beat Cain Velasquez, but Brock Lesnar's a bad motherfucker. No, he beat Heath Heitch, whatever his name is. Heath Herring. Out of the business. Well, he never came that's not necessarily no, but true. It's true. Heath Herring had again. some. Well, Heath Herring had a lot of fights, man. Yeah, but he, he had a lot. Again yeah, but that. he was at a crossroads in his own life. Oh no, I know. I'm reasons. not saying nothing bad. I'm just saying we went to that fight. Yeah. We were right there when he punched him. He did the fucking somersault. Yeah, you, you but know. I just think it's a little disrespectful. People say that before that it retired Heath Herring. Heath Herring retired. No, Heath we Herring. retired. He, he was I talked time. to Heath Herring recently. He's in fine shape. Where is he? Yeah, yeah. I saw him in Vegas. He's not. There's nothing wrong with him. Like you look in his eyes, he's 100 percent there. He looks good. He looks healthy. You know. You know, he's had some tough fights. You know, he fought Crow Cop and he fought Fedor and he fought Noguera. He had some bro, real. He's been around for a while. Some, did he fight? Bro. Did he fight Fedor? Did I just make that up? No, I believe he fought Fedor. I mean, I, I'm, look it up. I don't know. No, There's I'm so not. I should have said that. Right. I, I forget. Said, he just never fought again. Yeah, but Brock. he started doing he movies. He was in the crossroads. And stuff, <clears> he did yeah. a bunch of other stuff. It's it's hard, man. Those the for for guys who aren't a name, it's fucking hard. You know, it's hard to make real money. You know, because you got to be putting asses in the seats. So it's you know you got to beat someone big. And when it came to beating the big guys, he came real close with Noguera in his UFC fight. He fucking head kicked him and dropped him. Noguera looked done, and Heath Herring didn't finish him off. He had a chance, but he didn't finish him. Off. There's a reason for that, though. No, Garrett's tough as fuck. No, but he was hurt, Keith Herring, on that fight. Oh, was he? No, no, no. The first fight in the UFC was against Jake O'Brien yes. when he was hurt. Yes. When he had misunderstood yes. a couple he had of a things. Knee problem. I'm sorry. Yeah. He had a knee the problem. No, Garrett, right. He, he knocked him down. Yeah. And he didn't Jake O'Brien out wrestled him, and he just had a right. really fucked up knee. And he came up to me and talked to me about it afterwards because he was like, you know, hey, I listen to your commentary. You're always very supportive, but what the fuck? I was like, dude, you got to watch the fight. I mean, he just took you down at will. And he's like, my knee was torn. I had to take the fight. That was my I first needed the fight money. In the UFC. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he just decided to just fucking be a tough guy and fight anyway. And he thought he could win. He's like, I can catch this guy, mm-hmm. and he just couldn't. He couldn't get it going, man. Having a knee tear and then trying to fight a guy like Jake O'Brien, a fucking professional mixed martial arts yeah. fighter in the UFC. Shit. Jake O'Brien, I mean...